Hey guys, it's 456 Productions, and in this video, we are going to be showing you how to get Rock Band 2 Customs, and basically, what I will be showing you is how to convert your Clone Hero slash Phase Shift songs into the file format that Rock Band 2 uses for use on the Xbox 360, of course, and this will be a tutorial. You don't need a JTAG slash RGH Xbox. This will work on retail Xboxes, which is the, the, very, the good part about this, that you can just do this on a retail Xbox. So, um, let's get right into it. Okay, so you will only need one program, and that is Onyx Light. You can get this from either the link in my description, if I remember to put it, or if I forget, like a big dummy, then you can go to a size video on how to get um, the Rock Band 3 Customs on RPCS3, and there should be a link there, if I recall correctly. So anyways, what you're going to want to do is uh, choose your Clone Hero song of choice. So we can just uh, look through my songs folder. And uh, cry, uh, cry for Eternity, that, that's looking pretty good. So what you want to do is when you selected the song, you want to hit, uh, you don't have to select it, but like when you picked out the song that you want, you just hit back process. And then um, unless you know that it actually, like for example, I would uncheck everything except the guitar, unless for example, you're doing like a rock band song and you know it has like drums and bass and keys and all that jazz. But if you're just doing like guitar, I would recommend you uncheck, um, uncheck everything else because uh, that can cause issues. So anyways, what you want to do is get the folder and as you can see, this is a clone hero song. You're going to want to just drag and drop that into here. And then what you're going to want to do is click on rock band 2 360 and now this, you just hit this file to um, select where you want to store it. So I will be picking my Rockman 3 Con folder. Hit OK, and then hit Create. You shouldn't have to change any of this stuff, by the way, and then just hit Create Con File. Also, that little thing that said speed, that you can just change the speed of the song. Like in Clone Hero, you can speed songs up and slow them down. Like It's like that. But personally, I don't really care about that. But yeah, anyways, it will take a second. Okay, so after it's done, it will say success. Um, and basically, what you're going to want to do is now you can just close Onyx Light and open your Rock Band or your Con folder, wherever you saved it to. And as you can see, these are other cons I have, but we have Cry for Eternity underscore RB3 Con, RB2 Con. Now, what I like to do is because I don't know if you have to do this, but I just like to name it something like Cry for in all lowercase you don't really have to name it like stuff like like in all low cases but i found that s i don't really know what it was i don't know if it was this that made it work but maybe like something with the legal characters like underscores and dashes it didn't like so i just like naming it like them like this now and anyways what you will want to do now is uh now that you have the con all prepared and done what you want to do is get that is not the proper oh my goodness we are having issues you don't want to get your usb drive and here's how the fire structure will work and I will put this in the description. Content, then a folder that has 16 zeros, then this folder right here. You don't need these two other folders. They shouldn't be there by default. And you're gonna wanna name it um, 45410869, nice. Um, and then inside of that, you will have a folder with seven zeros, one one. And then here's where you will be putting the uh, con files. So, as you can see, I can just drag and drop. It'll take a second, of course. And then that should be good to go. Now, what you're going to want to do is eject the USB device and just unplug it from your computer. Okay, now I'm going to be talking a little quieter here because it's like fucking midnight and my whole family's asleep. Just plug the USB into your Xbox. Uh, God damn it. Okay, now that uh, the USB drive is inside of your Xbox, just turn the bitch on, and it will be coming up on the TV shortly. There we go. Okay, I didn't sign in just because there's uh, no reason for me to, but just go all the way over to here, and just to confirm that they work, just click on System, Storage, and it should be USB door storage device, Games and Apps. Now, it shouldn't say The Beatles Rock Band for you, because obviously this is other stuff, but it should say Rock Band 2, and here we go, we have our songs, uh, and here we go, uh, we have Cry for Eternity, and now, uh, if, if it shows up like that and it's not corrupted, for example, actually, let me go back and show you what, a corrupt, what it would look like if it were to be corrupted. 
um, it would look like this. Yeah. Alright, anyways. Let's just go over here. Launch Rock Band 3. Let me actually, uh, there you go. And as you can see shortly, it will boot up. And as you can see, Rock Band 2 is booted up. We just can, uh, go in and load the stuff, of course. Sorry, my cam is, like, really out of focus, by the way. And then as you can see, we just, uh, click through the menus. And there we go. Um, whoopsies. Uh, we have Cry for Eternity. And if you're gonna be like, oh, well, it's not actually playable. It's just gonna, like, be there. What the hell just happened? I know, um, you're probably saying, like, oh, it's not playable. It's just gonna be there. Well, basically, we can, uh... Disprove that fairly quickly. There we go. As you can see, we got the uh, fretboard loaded in. As you can see me tapping the notes. And that is Cry for Eternity if I've ever seen it. Oh, we failed out. Alright, um, and that is basically all there is to Rock Band 2 Customs. And if you guys liked this video, like it. And if you really liked it, leave a comment and subscribe with notifications on. For more Rock Band videos like this, um, check out my last video on how to get the Beatles Rock Band DLC on the Wii. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Peace.